All right, uh, in this video, we will explore the tolerance of resistors through the use of um, an LT spice simulation. We've already seen this uh, resistor color code chart in some form where uh, we learn how to use the four band colors uh, that appear on resistors or, or, or the five band resistors. We typically have seen four bands being used to denote the value of the resistor. The first three bands uh, will suggest the value of the resistor, but the fourth band, the rightmost one, as shown over here, uh, tells us what the tolerance of that resistor is supposed to be. So that's, that way the manufacturer can have some uh, leeway uh, to be off of its supposed, suppose uh, it was supposed to be a 1K resistor, by including that tolerance, the manufacturer can get some breathing room. Now, uh, what uh, so, for example, if you, if we pick up a one kilo ohm resistor, uh, I would expect the three colors to be brown, black, and red. The first figure, the second figure, and the third color corresponding to the multiplier. But the fourth band could typically be a gold band or a silver colored band. So, if it's one kilo ohm, you have brown, black, and red, and say we have gold for the last band. What does that mean? That means that the resistor value could be anywhere between 995 ohms to 1.05 K ohms. So they could, it could be off by plus or minus 5%. So let's see if we can use LD spies to um, simulate this tolerance into the value of the resistor and see how that impacts our measurements. So we'll, we'll start off with a simple voltage divider circuit in LT spice. We'll have two resistors, uh, a voltage source, and then we'll measure the voltage across one of the resistors. Should be simple, you have seen this several times. So that, that's straightforward. After we get through that circuit, we will run a DC sweep. So we'll try to change the source voltage um, by running a linear DC sweep um, from a start value to a stop value for V in. And while we do that, we'll measure the output voltage. In the third step um, for this video, we will uh, vary the value of R2 based on a Monte Carlo simulation in order to include the tolerance of that resistor R2. We will leave one of the resistors as is. We'll assume that it is perfect and it is, it's not changing. Um, so uh, now you, you hear this term Monte Carlo, what does that mean? That means that we are going to run a particular simulation several, several times, just so that statistically we are going to get a good idea about what that R2 value is supposed to be. So this is simply running a simulation several, several times. In this case, we are going to choose R2 based on the Monte Carlo MC uh, notation with a standard value of one kilo ohm and a tolerance of 0 0.1, which corresponds to 10%. So hopefully you can, you, you may now figure out that the, the, the fourth band color is probably silver for R2, uh, which corresponds to 10%. So if we change this R2 from a value to a Monte Carlo simulation command, then we will be able to see its impact on our measurements. In this case, we are not measuring using analog discovery and waveforms. In here, we are just simulating it in LT spice. Uh, the last step we'll uh, have for this video is how do you export results from LT spice to either Excel or MATLAB? Okay, so let's start with the voltage divider circuit. And because you have seen this several times, I have it ready to go. I have an input voltage of five volts DC. R1 is one kilo ohm perfect resistor. R2 is one kilo ohm perfect resistor. No tolerance. These are perfect values that are not changing. And I'm measuring V out across R2. I've also made a ground node over here as well. Now, in order to run this um, and measure V out, I need to edit my simulation command. So I go into simulate and I edit simulation command. I want this to be a DC simulation. So I'll choose DC operating point, 
say okay i will paste this somewhere on my circuit and then i will run this command so once i run that i you you see over here that my source voltage is 5 volts and you're measuring 2.5 at v out which is what you would expect because these two resistors are equal it is getting equally divided the source is getting equally divided so that's all fine and good if you, you there's nothing new over here so let's go to step two step two is change source voltage run a dc sweep on source voltage v in and while we are doing that let's try to measure v out for each value of v in so i need to change my simulation method here so what i'm going to do is edit my simulation command command again in this case i'm going to select dc sweep because i'm interested in sweeping uh, the source voltage which is which i'm calling v in in my circuit i'm going to run a linear sweep start value of one up to five volts in steps of 0 0.1 volts say okay place anywhere on my circuit i'm ready with the dc sweep all I need to do is run this simulation, pick a voltage that I want to measure. So when you hover your mouse at this particular node, you will see a probe appear. And when you click on that particular node, you will be measuring V out. In this case, simple voltage divider, V in it is essentially getting halved. So when your input voltage is one volt, you get 0 0.5. When your input voltage is 5 volts all the way to the right you get output voltage of 2.5 volts it all making makes sense based on our circuit uh, just so that our results look a bit better uh, let me mark the data points so now you can see where all the eval uh, the simulation has been evaluated so the simulation ran at 3.8 3 3.9 3. Um, 4.0 4.1 4.2 and so on because we have we have incremented v in in steps of 0 0.1 volts Okay, so that uh, completes step two. Run DC sweep, change V in from one to five volts, measure V out, and still our R1 and R2 values are not changing. They are one kilo ohm resistors. So let's move on to the third step. Our third step is include the tolerance of the resistor. So we are going to change R2 from a one kilo ohm resistor to a resistor with an average of one kilo ohm, but it could have a tolerance of plus and minus 10%. So the way you incorporate tolerance in a simulation is by clicking on the value, right click on the value and type in curly braces uh, MC, which is Monte Carlo standard value of 1K comma 0 0.1, which stands for uh, the tolerance, so 10%. Close parentheses, close curly braces, say OK, and you have set up R2. Now, we need to uh, tell LT Spies how many times we want this simulation to be run and what parameter you would like to keep changing. So let me just cross out of this so that I, I don't need that right now. Um, so I, I'm trying to change this R2 several, several times. So let's see if I can uh, write up a SPICE derivative. And you, you see if you hover your mouse at this icon, it says .op, which is, stands for a SPICE derivative. You click on that. Now I'm going to type in a command which lets me step through a parameter value several times. So I would start with .step uh, parameter R2 start value of one, ending value of 100 in steps of one. So this command, place it anywhere on your circuit, allows you to run this simulation 100 times while you keep changing R2 based on uh, the Monte Carlo simulation. So now we are ready to run the simulation again. Remember, we are also running this DC sweep. So our x-axis on our voltage plots is still going to be the input voltage sweeping from 1 to 5 volts. Run 
and we are interested in V out. So hover your mouse at V out and click. So when you click on that, you see several lines over here for V out, each line corresponding to a particular value of R2 chosen slightly away from one kilo ohm by about plus and minus 10%. And all those lines are sweeping across all values of the input voltage, one volt all the way to five volts. So you, you can see that they are slightly off because of that tolerance of R2. Notice over here, we, we, we have not changed R1 at all. It's, it's a constant. We could have changed R1 also based on uh, this Monte Carlo uh, method. Okay, so I hope uh, this makes the LT spy simulation uh, to include tolerance of resistors a bit clear. Now coming to the fourth point, which is how do you export results from LT spies? So let's see if I want to export the, these results. All you need to do is right click on a plot and go to file and then say export data as text. That gives up uh, gives you a bunch of options. So you could select one waveform or two of them or you could select all of them. And in fact, because we have run this simulation a hundred times, you also have the option of se selecting one of the hundred steps. You could choose one of the steps or you could choose multiple or all of them. Um, and just for demonstration purpose, I'll select step one. I'll say, okay. And let's say I want output voltage and current through R2. So I want these two waveforms for the first run in my text file titled lab 13 schematic. So when I say, okay, it's going to save a file on my desktop with that information. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop and then show you that file. So I've got this file where I have three columns, V in, V out and IR2. I have step one, sorry, this is V in going from, so this is just the first run out of the 100, and this is V in of one volt all the way down to five volts, and for each value of V in, we have a particular value of V out being measured, and R2 kept changing, right, based on uh, the tolerance, and the last column was the current through R2. Um, you know, we, we can quickly verify that R2 is in fact changing and uh, sort of randomly here by looking at the last value here. So if V in is five and R2 was actually one kilo ohm, we would expect V out to be 2.5. Instead over here, you have about 2.36 or 2.37 volts. Okay, so what, do you, what can you do with this information in text format? Well, you could copy paste that into Excel uh, you could copy paste that into uh, Excel and then import it to MATLAB. Uh, one of the videos um, that you will see later on is how do you import data from Excel into MATLAB. So once it is in MATLAB, you can run uh, some fancy algorithms on it. You can analyze your data. You can look at, um, uh, you can fit uh, uh, linear uh, regression lines on, on it. Um, so you could do all that analysis in MATLAB. Uh, so that's how you export data from LD Spice. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful.